After Sharks, Chris Spedding got a hit record with motorbiking, produced the first recordings of both the Sex Pistols and the Cramps, played on all the Womble records, formed duos with rockabilly star Robert Gordon and ex-Velvet Underground Viola player John Cale, appeared in Paul McCartney's film Give My Regards to Broad Street and played on the London recordings of Sugarman Rodriguez. To date, he has released 15 solo albums, including 2014's Joyland, which features contributions from the likes of Brian Ferry, Johnny Marr, Ian McShane and Andy Fraser. Buster Cherry later played with the Gang of Four and the Talking Heads before his death in 1995. Post Sharks, singer Steve Snips Parsons spent three years working with demon drummer Ginger Baker and can be spotted in the classic Beware of Mr. Baker documentary. His last solo album, La Rocca, was produced by Chris Spedding in 1979 and has recently been re-released by Angel Air to stunning reviews. In 1981, Parsons ended his performing career and reinvented himself as an award-winning composer for film and TV until 2010 when, prompted by Led Zeppelin maestro Jimmy Page, he decided to sing again. In 2011, Parsons reunited with Spedding to form heritage supergroup King Mob, which included Glenn Matlock from the original Pistols and Martin Chambers from the Pretenders. They released one album, Force Nine, on SPV, then broke up. Spedding and Parsons stayed busy in Brighton, where they wrote and produced Spedding's highly acclaimed Joyland album. In 2015, the pair were playing live dates for fun on the South Coast and included some shark songs in their set. Just as they were musing the possibility of reviving a failed supergroup from a vanished era, they received news of Fraser's untimely death. Tribute gigs were performed, record deals were offered and a documentary feature film was proposed. As a result, the band have now reformed and recorded a new album, Killers of the Deep, for 3MS Records, which will be released in January 2017. The new lineup includes original members Snips and Spedding, along with keyboard player Nick Judd, who played on the Sharks' 1974 Jab It In Your Eye album. Paul Cook from The Professionals and The Sex Pistols is on drums, with Japanese national Toshogawa on bass guitar. Sharks released their first ever single, One Last Thrill, on September 30th, 2016, along with a video directed by Parsons, which includes the visual history of the band, along with some eye-popping clips of early 70s culture. All you need to know about sharks.